fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me To my channel, today I'll be cooking mango cream cheese So first I have Philadelphia cream cheese Two things of Philadelphia cream cheese Look topping um, this is condensed uh, milk. Go back that way. Um, papaya and lemon and honey, graham crackers. Out you will be needing in a regular pan like this. Okay, first of all, I have this already in there. I can see and um, I'm gonna open it up. Pour this in here. Matter of fact, it's called mango fruit. I mean, float. With graham cracker. So I'm putting my little own touches on it because that's what Misha does. Cause they might, they probably do it different, like on the other channels. But some of the ingredients, I don't like what they put, so I'm doing it my way. So I'm going to blend this. I'm gonna add some of this lemon. Squeeze some of this lemon in here. Like that. Then I'm going to add a little bit of this to give it a little, yeah, kick with that vanilla flavoring. And then I'm going to add this sugar. And I ain't going to measure how much I put the sugar in. I'll just make it sweet, keep tasting it. I already know. So I'm just put the rest of this in here because I see that there's a little bit left. And I got me a new blender. See that? It's the same one, but it's different. So, so like I said, I added some more sugar, and I'm going to blend this up. When I come back, it's going to be a little blended. Uh, it's going to get messy, so I'm going to blend a little bit and then turn it, the camera back on. Okay, now it's being blended. Okay, so now that that's blended, that's what it looks like when it's blended. 
Okay, so what you're going to need is these mangoes. And I bought these from the uh, grocery store. And they have to be cut up. And I'm just going to cut one of them on um, camera for you guys. And then the rest of them, they'll be um, sliced up. But I'm going to show you how to that I high sliced these to put in my uh, pie. I mean, my float. Look like a pie, but it's called mango float. You could cut this up anyways. I've seen a lot of people do it different type of ways, but I'm gonna do it like this, like this, so it can spread evenly across the um, float thing. So you're gonna be cut in half like this. Thin slices. Just like that. So when we come back, this will be filled up. Stay tuned. Okay, I cut the second one. I'm going on the third one. And I have... Ooh. This one left to cut up. So when I come back, I'll have this cut up too. I'm not going to finish cutting this um, because it looks like it's getting, it's not all the way right. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And when I come back, I'm going to um, add this to the float. So I'm going to rinse these off. Set them on the side. And start adding the ground crackers. What you do is, let me get a spoon. Does she want to see what's your shadow? Um, so what you do is you take this and then you just like this, spread it around. Other people be running, since I'm using cheesecake, it's going to be like this. So all you do is take it and spread it around supposed to be runny but I don't want mine to be runny you feel me I'm different
and you just spread it around. Until it become even. like that and then stick them on there. And you do the same thing layer by layer. What, Ali? Talking to my son. What? Go ahead. You can put the ground cover in any uh, way you want to, so and then you just go ahead and do another layer. This recipe is so simple and easy. And all you do is freeze it for about four or six hours, I believe. I'm going to just do two layers because that's what I want to do. You can fill this whole thing up and do more than one. I mean, you can do at least three layers in this. But I'm going to do two because I want to do two. So you just spread it evenly like this. Get on my first right over to here. Sorry about them talking to um, my child. Okay, now I finished this. And now all I'm gonna do is just add some more um
You could add this on top if you want to. And then I'm gonna spread crumbled ground cracker on top of all of this. The reason why I didn't fill it up because I'm gonna add my own touches to it and it, it's um gonna be some extra after a chill. Cause I like to do stuff different, but it's this is called a mango float. So I'm gonna pull this out the way because this is extra. Scoop this over. Okay, so what you guys just saw, I just mixed some graham cracker crumbs into this blender. And I think it's almost ready. I think it is ready. Oh no, we still got little pieces in there that's just kind of still not, uh, Crumb it up so I can do it again. Okay, so I'm gonna outside they are so loud but it's cool and that's what it is so stay tuned and I'm gonna show y'all add this to my uh, mango flow okay so now the discussion I'm gonna pour it inside this bowl it is not all crystal but most of it is and I'm gonna do is just sprinkle the ground cracker crust up on here. Just like that. Aaliyah, shut my dope up. Excuse me, you guys, because people is not listening. And you know when you get them flies. And you just sprinkle the ground cracker crust all up on here. And so there you have it. So this is how I do mine. What I'm going to do is put this in the freezer for um, four to six hours. And then I'm going to cut me a slice and I'm going to show you. And you can just put your mason. I'll put like all types of stuff on wines. So um, comment, like, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get a thousand likes. And I'm trying to get subscribers as well. So thanks for watching. And have a blessed day. And I'm getting a close up personal size look. And so I'm looking right now. So.
God bless you, and have a nice day. Hey, this um, has been in the refrigerator for about four to six hours, so I'm just going to cut it. And it's thick. Wait, hold on. I need another knife. This is the ending result of the cheesecake. So, um, I made a big old pan, and I only end up with a little piece. And I'm like, okay, this is all I have. But this is how it came out. I had it in the refrigerator for four to six hours. And, yeah, so you can kind of get you to see the mango inside of there. And my kid devoured it. So, thank you. God bless you. Like and subscribe to my page. And have a good Father's Day. To everyone. Peace.